We are soldiers in this war, Jared Taylor told an overwhelmingly male and entirely white audience of around 300 late on Saturday. And we will win. The founder and editor of American Renaissance, once a print magazine and now the Internet's premier race realist site, no longer thinks whites can have America to themselves. But he wants an all-white ethno-state carved out of U.S. territory. KKK rally over Confederate statue stirs deep-rooted tensions in Charlottesville. Read more this weekend. American Renaissance held its annual conference at a venue in Montgomery Bell State Park, an hour west of Nashville, Tennessee. Attendees and speakers clearly felt a growing confidence. They have seen appreciable growth in membership of established and emerging far-right groups. They have also seen the election as president of Donald Trump. Speakers at the event addressed subjects, including race realism and race denialism, and has the white man turned the corner? 1. Considered the Trump report card, so far, when Taylor spoke, his audience was generationally diverse. Some, well into middle age or beyond, had heard it all before. But when he asked who was attending for the first time, the great majority raised their hands. Many were millennials, though. All attendees wore conference dress code, jacket and tie. More than a few younger men sported the fashy haircut, short back and sides with a severe parting, which has become a signature of the so-called alt-right. Many such young men lined up for selfies with Richard Spencer, the president of the White Nationalist National Policy Institute think tank who has achieved fame since greeting the election result with a cry of, Hail Trump!